Good morning. Today we're going to talk about filing down the ridges on the gourd in the cartouche, or in other words, how to sand it down, whether or not we want to smooth it, or whether we like that rough natural look. So we've got some decisions to make before we move on. Here goes. Last night I filmed and showed you, light's a little bit better now, showed you how much I'd gotten done. This kind of gives you an idea of how big this gourd is. It's pretty big, really big. But this will give you an idea of the look of it. I used that saber tooth burr to go all the way through here. And some of the areas you can see a little bit of the graining. You can see how it kind of goes and swirls around the birds. That part right there looks a little bit dark. Looks like it's just a little bit taller. You're casting a shadow. And there might be an area like there where I might go over a little bit more. I'll just have to see. Yeah, that one. That one spot looks really funny here, but in person it's just a bit of a shadow. If you don't like this look, this really, really grainy look, that's okay. What you would do is at this point you would just sand all these areas and you'll need a variety of things. The first is when you're using the sandpaper, you've got to be careful not to nick over here. So you might use some smaller pieces, fold them up, work on this. Then to get into the really, really small areas, you might need to use a file set. And let me grab some of those and show you. I have several file sets that I love. The very first files that I got were this set and these run probably around $10 to $20 for a set. They're not all that expensive, but I was doing so much filing on areas like this that it was making my hand fairly tired. So what I did next was I put some of those onto a cork so that I had something to hang on to while I was filing. So I could file, file, file. Of course, I used little pieces of paper folded up. Then the next thing I invested in was this one from, I forget who this is from. I'll leave a link below. But this one actually opens up and you can change out this end, the filing part. It came with a whole bunch of different ends. These are the ends. And so when you're holding it, you actually have something larger and very grippy to hold. And it just makes... It just makes the whole thing so much easier. I think I'm not going to be filing this. I think I like the very woody, very, I just like that look. But if it's not the look you're going for, then you're going to be doing some filing. And this this can take hours. And so you watch some sort of a TV show or something, and you just file and file and file. And then every once in a while, back up a pretty good distance from it like this and see if you notice anything, and then bring it in close and work on it. Be really, really careful when you're filing that you're keeping your hands flat and you're not creating dishes. The next step for this is going to be to put some color onto our sandhill crane and then to finish off the top and finish it with some sort of a woven top. So I'm going to select some inks. Hello. There's a face right here saying hello to us. Hello. Hello, little face. So yes, I'm going to find some dye and pick out some dye colors and dye the bird. <laughs> He's still right here. Oh, then it's going to look so good. Then I'll need to spray it. And I'm really going to think about painting this part. I have somebody who said they always, always, always paint this part. And I might do that because this one does have a lot of discolored areas that are not areas where my ink bled over or anything like that. They're just areas where the board is a little bit imperfect. I don't know. I've never done that, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. I do keep all of my files together in one place, and I have no idea what this was originally for. It was from some drug company. It has a pocket on the front, no pocket on the back. But what it does have is inside it's got that zipper part, it's got a spot, I guess, for your business card, and then it's got a pocket here, and then two pockets here. And it's just nice to have somewhere where I can put all of my files. And when I want files, I just reach for this and everything that I need is in it. So look around the house, see if you've got something you could repurpose to organize all of your tools. Okay, sort of a funny storage container. A lot of people keep the tubes that the quick wood comes in and store things in those. Most commonly stored in here are burning bits, wood burning bits, but I've got this set of files in here. And when I went to get the files, I found the thing that I was trying to show you before for drawing the circle, just an old fashioned compass, like a school compass. And if we had wanted the circle to be absolutely exact, we would have just stuck this in and then went all the way around like that.
No matter which way you choose to finish off your gourd, whether you want to smooth out the cartouche or leave it rough, either way, it's going to look gorgeous. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to start drilling some holes in the gourd to make room for that pine needle rim. Hope to see you next one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this very useful and enjoyable, and I'll leave links to everything below. Please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.